I'd like to call to order the board, uh, Long Beach Community College District board meeting for May 27, 2014. If we could all please stand, I'm going to ask the student trustee to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Madam Secretary, if you could please call the roll. President Kellogg? Here. Vice President Clark? Here. Member Bowen? Here. Member Otto? You're on the telephone. <laughs> and Member Yoranga? Here. Student Trustee Donato? Yeah. There is no items report from our closed session. With that, our first time of the business is the proof of the minutes of our April 29th. 2014 meeting. Are there any corrections to that or additions? If not, I'll entertain a motion to approve the minutes so moved. for April 29th. Motion by Trustee Clark. Second. Second by Trustee Bowen. Uh, Madam Secretary, if you could please call the roll. President Kellogg? Aye. Vice President Aye. Clark? Here. Member Bowen? Aye. Member Otto? Aye. And Member Uranga? Abstain. And that was, uh, I wasn't asking for the roll, I was asking for the vote again, I apologize. So the approval of the minutes passes. Introductions, special announcements, or presentations by anyone or members of the board, President Superintendent. Yes, uh, thank you, Board President Kellogg. We do have um, a couple of uh, announcements as we have done in the past. We like to take the opportunity to Congratulate those individuals who have decided to pursue retirement uh, and um, uh, enjoy life outside of Long Beach City College. And we have two individuals today that we want to make mention of and honor their service. Um, the first individual has uh, served us in the library for many, many, many years. Uh, it's given us over 15 years of service. Um, and um, uh, obviously as uh, part of our library has touched thousands of students, helped uh, thousands of students complete their assignments, helped them uh, navigate our libraries, helped them grow in terms of their knowledge and um, help them succeed. And so I want to um, congratulate, and I hope everyone joins me in congratulating um, Kim Barkley for her 15 outstanding years of service to the Long Beach Community College District. So I'd like to ask Kim to come on up. Uh, I'm completing my 15 years uh, at the college. Dr. Brock hi me and here she is today. So we really complete a full circle. Um, it seemed like only yesterday that I was in front of the board strategy as a new faculty. Really, just like yesterday, just about 15 years ago. And generally speaking, uh, the last 15 years have been wonderful and happy for me. Generally speaking, so I'm very happy. I will miss the college. So. My best wishes to the college and long live Long Beach City College. Thank you, Kim. Um, we have one other individual who's chosen to retire. He's a um, long term uh, mathematics professor, um, been with us for uh, 
31 years um, and um, uh, obviously has also touched the lives of uh, thousands and thousands of students along the way. Um, unfortunately, he could not be here today, but I hope you all join me in recognizing and congratulating uh, Bruce Chafee for his outstanding <laughs> service to Long Beach City College. And that's all I have. All right, thank you very much. The ordering of the agenda, uh, two items, item 1.2 on public participation at board meetings. There was uh, additional questions on that, so we are going to lay that item over to the next meeting on the June 10th uh, to address it for first reading. Uh, and also, we are going to move item 9.1, that's on student success, transfer degrees. That is going to follow uh, our human resources. So those are the only changes in the agenda that I have. Are there any others, members of the board? Hearing none. Uh, public comments on agenda items. We have two individuals, uh, Lynn Shaw and uh, Janae Hun. Heard? Uh, good evening. Uh, my name is Dr. Lynn Shaw, and I'm president of the faculty union. For full-time faculty, I was going to speak about uh, item 1.2, but I'll save it for next time about public comment, which I think is very important. Uh, the other items I want to talk about are the stipends that are given. It's 5.1 in the agenda. And I believe there are many stipends that are being gifted to faculty without following the contract. All stipends are supposed to be made available to all faculty. The purpose of this is to get the best possible person for the job and be sure everyone who can qualify knows about the opportunity. The contractual language is on page 66, if you'd like to look it up, of our contract and applies to all stipends of $2,000 or more. There are two on the agenda tonight that were not offered to all faculty or even offered to the people in the affected department. One is for $2,400 and the other is for $3,600. CCA is now going back over the last year, checking for other stipends of $2,000 or more. Several have been found. A grievance is in process. I'm asking you to please treat faculty with respect and follow the contract. My second item on the agenda, and I will be speaking later about non-agenda agenda item of faculty morale, but I'm concerned about all the three pages of institutional memberships, and I'm wondering what the total cost of all those memberships are. Thank you. Thank you. Janae? Good evening, members of the board, President Oakley, President Kellogg students, faculty, staff, and the community in attendance. Uh, I'm speaking in reference to Resolution 1.1 and uh, regarding the uh, student trustee. Um, so I would just like to thank student trustee Andrea Donato for her tenacious efforts to represent the diverse Long Beach City College student body. Andrea has consistently raised issues of concern to this board and I would also like to thank Trustee Clark for extending himself to Andrea, serving as a mentor for her this past year. My, uh, ple my pleasure to do that. Thank you. I would also like to conclude by offering my gratitude to Trustees Bowen and Clark, um, who have provided their service on this board for many years. And I particularly would like to thank Trustee Bowen for casting no votes against program discontinuance and the faculty reduction in force last spring 2013. Um, two actions of this board which student uh, Andrea Donato opposed prior to serving as student trustee. And once again, thank you Andrea for your service. Thank you.
No other public comments on agenda items. We're at 1.1, resolution, student trustee. Uh, President Oakley, do you have the actual? Yes, thank you, I Board President uh, okay. Kellogg. Um, as, as was just mentioned by uh, Professor Han, Andrea has uh, served uh, in the role of student trustee for the last year from June 2013 through May 2014. Uh, and so the Long Beach Community College District Board would like to recognize her with the resolution of the board. Uh, whereas Andrea Donado was duly elected by her peers to serve as a student member of the Board of Trustees from June 2013 through May 2014, uh, whereas such elections were held in accordance with the California Education Code and the Constitution of the ASB, where she has actively participated in the meetings of the Board of Trustees, keeping the members appraised of the concerns and recommendations of the student body, as well as the accomplishments of the student body. Uh, whereas she has in turn kept the student body appraised of actions of the Board of Trustees so the students might, be, might better understand the roles and responsibilities of the board. And whereas she has strongly, and I emphasize strongly, advocated for the student needs at both LAC and PCC and has encouraged many students to become involved in college-wide discussions around student success and where she has represented her peers diligently, setting an example for future student trustees to follow and now therefore be it resolved that the members of the Board of Trustees of the Long Beach Community College District commend Andrea Donado for her service on this board and accord her with the special recognition she deserves. So we have a resolution as well as uh, some flowers for Andrea and uh, I also want to personally thank her for her service here on the board. Thank you. Chair recognizes Trustee Clark. Yeah, I'd like to say that I'd like to say that uh, she has been an asset to the board. She has not agreed to, with us, but she's done it in a very professional, intelligent way. And that's the proper way to do it. I think she's done an outstanding job. She's a very bright, intelligent girl, and I hope she gets into UC Berkeley. Thank you. <laughs> I hope so, too. <laughs> Say about Oregon. Say something. What? Yep. Oh, I'm sorry, Chair. I was trustee No, I, I too uh, want to congratulate Andrea on a, on a on a full year of service to the Board of Trustees, to to the students, to her constituents that elected her to, to this position. Uh, she's done admirably, um, and again, as, as uh, it all goes with uh, elected bodies, we might not always agree, but we agree to disagree. And we, when we do that, we make the board a lot stronger because we share ideas and we share our, our views and our thoughts, and that only makes us stronger. So I want to congratulate you, Andrea, for sharing with me. I, too, uh, had an opportunity to meet with you uh, on several occasions to talk about uh, the board and board meetings and your role in it. And uh, I hope that uh, this experience was a good one for you and that you take some very uh, uh, positive efforts that you were here uh, with you as you as you move on to your career and whatever that is and I wish you well. Thank you. Thank you very much. Very good And you'll have some comments later for us as well. So that's uh, Moving on then 1.2. This is the item on public participation on uh, board meetings This item is going to be laid over first reading to the meeting of June 10th. So no discussion on this particular item uh, Trustee uh, Kellogg we need to have an action on the resolution. I'm sorry. Uh, could I entertain a motion to approval. approve the resolution for student trustee? So moved. Second. by Trustee Clark. Second. Second by Trustee Aranga. Other comments at this time? Hearing none. All those in favor? I'm sorry. Old habit. Madam Secretary, if you could please call the roll. President Kellogg? Aye. Vice President Clark? Aye. Member Bowen? Aye. Member Otto? Aye. Member Uranga? Aye. Motion carries. Thank you. Now we're moving to uh, item 1.2, that is item again. There's no official item that's just being laid over till 
the June 10th meeting. Uh, that brings us to the consent calendar. All items, is there any items in the consent calendar that wishes to be removed for discussion by the members of the board? If not, I'll entertain a motion to approve the consent calendar in its entirety. Move uh, approval. A motion, motion by Trustee, uh, was that Bowen? Uh, motion by Trustee Bowen, second by uh, uh, Trustee Otto to approve the consent calendar. Madam Secretary, please call the roll on approval of this consent calendar, please. President Kellogg? Aye. Pre uh, Vice President Clark? Aye. Member Bowen? Aye. Member Otto? Aye. And Member Uranga? Aye. Motion carries. Uh, next item is human resources. Item 5.3, this is a resolution, reduction of classified services. Uh, is there any information we want to put on this before we take the action item on it? Um, the item uh, 5.3 is in the board agenda. There are a number of, um, of reductions in fourths that are uh, directly tied to um, changes in grant activity in um, the uh, economic uh, and workforce development area. And um, certainly if the board has any questions, I'd be happy to, to answer those. Are there any questions, members of the board? If not, I'll entertain a motion to approve the resolution, reduction of classified services. So moved. Motion by Trustee Clark. Second. Second by Trustee Aranda. No other uh, items for discussion. Madam Secretary, please call the roll on approval of item 5.3, resolution. President Kellogg. Aye. Vice President Clark. Aye. Member Bowen. Aye. Member Otto. Aye. Member Uranga. Aye. Motion carries, thank you. Item 5.4, this is a resolution, board member uh, absent compensation uh, per the packet. I'll entertain a motion to approve item 5.4. Motion by Trustee Otto, second by Trustee Clark. Are discussions on this item? Do I need to do any background on it? No? Um, Chair Reckness, Trustee Aranga? Yeah, I uh, first of all want to thank my colleagues on the board for their uh, wonderful understanding and um, uh, kind, kind thoughts during a period of hard time in, my, in the Uranga family during the loss of my, uh, my father-in-law. Um, your thoughts and prayers were certainly well received and I'm sure that my, my uh, father-in-law is in a much uh, happier, restful place and I want to thank you for, for all your kind thoughts in that. Thank you. Madam Secretary, if we please call the roll on the, uh, this resolution, please. President Kellogg? Aye. Vice President Clark? Aye. Member Bowen? Aye. Member Otto? Aye. Member Uranga? Abstain. Motion carries. We are now at uh, item 9.1, student success transfer degrees. This is informational only. Uh, uh, Superintendent President Oakley? Uh, yes, thank you, Board President Kellogg. Um, um, We've been talking about student success uh, all year long, and uh, uh, most recently uh, there was a change in legislation that uh, uh, this board supported, which was the creation of uh, transfer associate degrees. These transfer associate degrees uh, provide students with pathways to degrees in the CSU uh, and an associate's degree in the community college. Um, a student. Uh, uh, participates in this pathway, he or she uh, uh, is guaranteed 60 units to receive uh, an associate's degree, degree and then another 60 units at the CSU to complete their bachelor's degree. Um, uh, this was uh, a major milestone uh, in terms of the relationship between community colleges and the CSU and a big win for students. The University of California system is now looking at the transfer associate's degree model and we're hopeful that the UC system adopts a similar model and creates additional pathways for more of our students into the University of California. But to give you an update on where we're at with the transfer associates degree, uh, I've asked uh, Vice President uh, Peterson to bring his team along and give the board an update on where we're at. So with that, I'd like to turn it over to Vice President Peterson. I would like to introduce um, our three presenters tonight, um, Lorraine Bluen, our counseling department chair, uh, Ruben Page, our coordinator for our transfer career center, and Ross Mishir, our dean for enrollment services. 
Good evening, and uh, thank you, Board President Kellogg, Board of Trustees members, and Superintendent President Oakley. Uh, tonight, we are going to present on the transfer degrees, the AA and ASs, and specifically, we'll be covering SB 1440 History and Benefits, SB 1440 Implementation Status, and the SB 1440 Student Participation Status. To begin our presentation, I'd like to invite Ruben Page up to the podium. Thank you, Ross. This evening, I'll be covering um, two things. I'm going to do a brief uh, overview of the history of SB 1440, um, formerly called the Student Transfer Agreement Reform Act, signed September 29, 2010, which had four main goals. Um, the first main goal was to create associate degrees for students who are transferring. And Ross can co correct me if I'm incorrect on this, but at time of implementation, there were no associate degrees for students trying to get, um, who are trying to meet transfer degrees. So at our um, graduation ceremonies, I was beginning to notice, and many others probably did too, that there are fewer and fewer transfer students attending graduation because there were no degrees for them. Uh, it also created a smoother path for transfer by creating very pre prescriptive uh, major courses and a GE plan that they had to follow. Here at Long Beach City College, it would be either Plan B or Plan C, and once again, very prescriptive major courses that they would have to follow. Uh, along with these prescriptive major courses, of course, that would uh, mean less time to degree in terms of their associate degrees, uh, which saves them time and money here at Long Beach City College. And it also guaranteed them junior level standing to the CSU system. Now this is the piece that I and the counselors um, spend most of the time marketing to students in terms of the benefits for the, what we call the ADTs, the Associate Degrees for Transfer. Uh, the first uh, item I already mentioned in terms of it gives them an associate degree for completing transfer requirements. It guarantees them admission into the CSU system in a similar major. It grants them priority consideration in terms of transferring. And I'd like to offer two examples of, a, of this priority consideration. When the CSUs are trying to control enrollment, um, one of the things that they have mentioned is to let students who have, complete, who have completed the associate's degree for transfer apply for transfer when other folks are uh, unable to. And an example of that is uh, Cal State Dominguez Hills is playing around with possibly uh, accepting for spring of 2015. And one of the things that they're looking at is possibly letting the students who have completed the ADTs apply. Uh, also, another example of this priority consideration is a possible adjustment in GPAs in terms of what transfer students are required to um, attain before transferring. An example of that is Cal State Fullerton, who has uh, set a level of their GPAs that gives ADT students a little bit of a break in terms of transferring. Also, there's what we call um, the GPA bump for our students. For impacted majors, students receiving the ADTs will get a 0.1 bump. For non-impacted majors, it's a 0.2 bump. So a student uh, transferring with an ADT who has a CSU transferable GPA as 2.5 would be seen as having a 2.7 transferring into a non-impacted major. And finally, uh, as uh, President Oakley uh, stated, the UCs are also looking at this. And one of the first things that they have done is guaranteed a comprehensive review of students who have ADTs. And the comprehensive review, some of you may be thinking what that is, because you may be thinking, Don't, doesn't everyone get a comprehensive review transferring to the UCs? There are certain UCs um, that primarily base transfer on GPA and major courses. By getting the ADTs, what it forces uh, the UC systems to do, or the UC schools to do, is to read the personal statement. So basically give a holistic review of the student's transfer criteria. And there's also, in, in terms of Cal State Long Beach being our main feeder, uh, feeder two very important benefits. Um, 
First, the degree requirements trump major specific admissions requirements. An example of that that I see almost every day is students trying to transfer um, to Cal State Long Beach in business administration are required to have business calculus. And for our ADT, it actually gives them three options for the math that they would be able to take, which is statistics, finite math, or business calculus. So they could be admitted with either one of those uh, math courses. The other main benefit to Cal State Long Beach is when students would be allowed to finish their degree requirements. And this has become very valuable for our students recently as I talk to them in terms of transferring, is that students would be allowed uh, to complete major requirements the semester prior to transfer to Cal State Long Beach. Typically, they are required to meet those transfer requirements two semesters prior to transfer. And Ross is going to be talking about the implementation process. Thank you. So how do we mix and bake the cake to make it a AAAST transfer degree? The process starts at the state level or the chancellor's office and they put out uh, sessions where faculty can comment on the degrees. Those degrees are vetted throughout the state and then the curriculum is agreed upon. Once the curriculum is agreed upon, it comes out from the chancellor's office in the form of TMCs. And it then heads over to Long Beach City College and then we have the option as an institution to either put these forward or not. Long Beach City College at the beginning, we were in the first out of the gate to put forward these TMCs and we continue to be one of the leaders in the state. It goes, once we have a department interested in a TMC, they put together a curriculum and it goes to our associate degree general education subcommittee. And I'm gonna embarrass someone right now because without her, we probably wouldn't have as many degrees as we have right now at this college. Uh, Laura Pedigree at the end of this row, she's been instrumental in getting uh, many of these degrees, working with faculty. <laughs> getting them into the subcommittee of ADGE. Then they bring in the major uh, faculty and then we just have a discussion of uh, what makes sense in these degrees and if they need to be altered in any way. And then they're voted on and passed on through the curriculum committee. The curriculum committee again discusses, votes and then passes them. And then the board of trustees uh, gets the degrees, uh, requires your vote and we pass them on to the state. And lastly, the chancellor's office is the last uh, body that needs to pass these through and make them official. Uh, our implementation status to this date is there are, are about 25 that we could do and we have 12 approved. We have pending at the uh, Community College uh, Chancellor's Office 3 and in review in the curriculum committee by fall we'll be sending six more up to Sacramento and in department development we have four uh, mixing up right now ready to stick in the oven. But so far, some districts have as little as two, some have as many as uh, 20. As you can see, we're heading up towards about 19. So we're heading up towards being one of the leaders in the state for our transferable AAs and AS degrees. The implementation status or the eligible degrees right now are our business degree, which again, these degrees were put forward in the most popular degrees. So business administration, communication studies, early childhood education, English, geology, history, kinesiology, mathematics, political science, psychology, and sociology. And if you go to a college party and the number one question asked at parties, what is your degree? Most likely one of these degrees will be the answer. Upcoming opportunities for TMCs are developed upon the highest demand programs. Uh, about to be released are biology, engineering, health science, exercise science, graphic arts design, nursing, hospitality, which is just in time for our new building, information and communication technology, environmental science, and social work. As you'll notice, Long Beach City College will have the opportunity to start implementing all these degrees so these fit right into our wheelhouse as an institution. This is the student participation part. Uh, in 2012, we conferred 24 of these degrees. In 2012, 2013 year, we conferred uh, 295 of these degrees. And that is a 1,129% increase. Or if you want to look at it another way, the first year we implemented it, 
24 made up 4% of the Associate Associate of Science degrees we conferred. In 2012-13, it made up 30% of the degrees we conferred. And this year, next week, uh, as long as the students take the correct courses at the end, it will make up around 46% of the degrees we confer. I predict in about five years, it will probably make up about 60% of the degrees we confer, as this is the future because this finally streamlines our degrees from the, our institution over to our partners in Dominguez Hills, Long Beach, and Fullerton. Uh, to cover the counseling efforts, I'd like to invite our department head of counseling, Lorraine Bluen. Thank you, Russ. Um, the counseling department has been involved in the various components of um, the implementation of the associate degrees for transfer. Uh, they have, um, starting with the curriculum process all the way through the dissemination of the information to students. So the first aspect of that is counselors are um, serve on the curriculum committee on, on the subcommittee chairs, I'm sorry, the subcommittee and also the curriculum committee. Uh, in particular, on the associate degree and general education subcommittee, there are representation of counselors that give feedback. And once it is passed through ADGE, it goes to curriculum. And then counselors also sit on the curriculum committee and also provide feedback on courses placed on the, on the guide. Um, also, we are integrating um, into the counseling one outline the um, overview of the associate degree for transfer and then also the benefits of that. Also, um, through the individual counseling appointments is where we give most of our information to students, uh, giving them the options for the associate degrees under plan A, uh, also the associate degrees for transfer uh, under options B and C, and then explaining to students what the benefits and what options they have in order to obtain the associate degree. Uh, we also provide um, signage in the counseling center on both campuses. Uh, there are links um, that students can go to through the California Community College uh, website and it gives more information about the associate degrees for transfer. On the college website, there are links leading to the associate degree for transfer curriculum guides and they are separated so students understand the differences between the traditional AA degrees that are offered under plan A and then the associate degrees for transfer under B and C. Um, also, then we are um, integrating content with the transfer-related uh, workshops in our new student workshop, and then also in our Promise Pathway workshop. So we want to try to get this information to students as early as possible, so that they can make a choices and that they're taking the right courses. So there's no duplication of courses for the general education and then for the associate degrees for transfer. For our next steps, we are continuing to expand uh, student communication for associate degree. Uh, for the AATs, AASTs, through workshops and classroom presentations. So the more that we can get the word out to students, the better. Classroom presentations are very effective because students have the opportunity to ask questions. So um, through, uh, in particular, with my involvement with Project RISE, I've been able to give presentations to the uh, child development uh, CDC classes. And uh, students then learn the differences between uh, the different options. Uh, we are also reviewing existing associate degrees and ASTs to streamline course requirements and then continue to develop additional AATs and ASTs to meet our students. That, that concludes our presentation. Do you have any questions? Very good. Questions, members of the board, this time? And the reason we pulled this item uh, ahead of the uh, following with the Academic Senate is because we thought it would be better to have this discussion before we vote on it rather than after. Uh, members of the board, questions? Chairman, has Trustee Aranga. Yeah, um, in regards to the total implementation of SB 1440, where are we in regards to our colleagues and up and down the state in, uh, in uh, the number of degrees that we have uh, out there? Uh, some districts, actually we've conferred, our district alone has conferred about 754. So other districts are, you know, we're in the higher, uh, top third of degrees conferred of the transfer degrees. I sit on the statewide uh, implementation work group that's uh, coincidentally meeting tomorrow with Vice Chancellor uh, Linda Michalowski, and we're, we're now hitting what we call a critical mass where we've been doing these manually, but we're looking how to automate these so we can get them all over the state and get all the students the opportunity. There are some districts that only have two available and students don't have the opportunity to get 
the same opportunity they have at Long Beach City College. So in terms of uh, all the districts comparatively, we're doing really, really well. And in terms of the curriculum itself, uh, <laughs> I, I noticed a number of uh, degrees that are still uh, in, in, the, in the works. Um, mm -hmm. What are we uh, looking at a timeline where we can have full, full and complete impl implementation? We're looking at that. Uh, well, not all the degrees have been released by the state, but I think this next year you'll see about 10 more degrees added to uh, our list of approved degrees. And we have a few degrees that are literally within days of being approved by the chancellor's office that have been sitting at the chancellor's office. But the big bottleneck right now is that the California Community College Chancellor's Office does not have enough staff to actually process the degrees. So it's not us, it's actually up at Sacramento that the degrees are being held right now and they're trying to fix it up there, I know, but one of their key people just left the chancellor's office. Okay. Thank you. Other questions? Is that the one the vice chancellor became president of a college? Uh, well, that was the uh, vice chancellor of academic affairs, but someone below uh, a dean level left too, uh -huh. and they are the actual operational person approving them and they also left. I know the one that left, I think, went to Las Positas. Yeah. Yeah. All right, other members of the board, questions? This is an outstanding report. It really is impressive what's going on. Um, it is fantastic. So, all right, this was an informational item only. Uh, thank you all very much. We're now going to move into the, uh, this is on Academic Senate. Uh, we have, these are all action items. Uh, the first item is item 8.1. I'm just gonna very briefly, unless you would like to read the background, I'm gonna read the, uh, the background on item 8.1 is new course recommended for board action was developed in the School of Social Sciences and Arts, School of Health, Science, Math, School of Language Arts, and School of Career Technology Education. These courses have been analyzed in terms of student need, relationship to other courses, confirmation, uh, conformance to legal and professional standards for curriculum, evaluation techniques used to determine course effectiveness and their input on the college financial resources. These courses came recommended by the appropriate committee and the college staff. Uh, could I entertain a motion to approve new course recommendations? Item 8.1, please. Move to approve. Motion, approve. By, motion by Trustee Otto, second by Trustee Ranga. Uh, questions, comments, members of the board? Madam Secretary, if you could please call the roll on item 8.1, new course recommendations. President Kellogg? Aye. Vice President Clark? Aye. Member Bowen? Aye. Member Otto? Aye. Member Yaronga? Aye. Motion carries 8.2, this is approval. Uh, and I'm gonna read the background again. The certificate was created at the request of the advisory committee and the faculty and has been approved by the Committee on Curriculum and Instruction. Completion of this certificate will provide entry-level skills for the appropriate industry. Could I entertain a motion to approve 8.1? So moved. So moved. Motion Second. by Trustee Clark, second by Trustee Otto. Discussion, members of the board. Madam Secretary, if you could please call the roll. That was 8.2, by the way. 8.2. President Kellogg? Aye. Vice President Clark? Aye. Member Bowen? Aye. Member Otto? Aye. Member Yuranga. Aye. Uh, 8.2 carries. 8.3, this is background. This course is transferable to CSU UC Systems as a course has been approved by the Committee on Curriculum and Instruction. Uh, this course will offer additional options to meet general education requirements as well. Uh, I'll entertain a motion to approve eight, item 8.3, additional courses to general approval. education plan for film. Two. Motion by Trustee Bowen, second by Trustee Otto. Questions, comments, members of the board? Hearing none, Madam Secretary, if you could please call the roll. President Kellogg? Aye. Vice President Clark? Aye. Member Bowen? Aye. Member Otto? Aye. Member Yuranga? Aye. Uh, 8.3 carries. Uh, item 8.4, background. This course is transferable to CSU system as a course that has been approved by the, by the Committee on Curriculum and Instruction. I'll uh, be added to Plan B, CSU general education. A course will offer additional opportunities to meet general education <coughs> requirements. Uh, I entertain a motion to approve item 8.4, additional courses to general education. Approval. Motion by Trustee Bowen, second by Trustee Clark. Discussion, members of the board? Hearing none, Madam Secretary, if you could please call the roll on item 8.4. President Kellogg? Aye. Vice President Clark? Aye. Member Bowen? Aye. Member Otto? Aye. Member Yuranga? Aye. Well, uh, item 
item 8.4 carries item 8.5 this is our revision to curriculum guide associate degrees for transfer the background the curriculum guide is in response to California educational code uh, to create an associate degree for transfer uh, the new degree programs and its courses have been approved by the committee on curriculum and instruction uh, I'll entertain a motion to approve item 8.5 Move to approve. So moved. Motion by Trustee Clark, second by Trustee Aranga. Discussion, members of the board, on item 8.5. Hearing none. Madam Secretary, if you could please call the roll on item 8.5. President Kellogg? Aye. Vice President Clark? Aye. Member Bowen? Aye. Member Otto? Aye. Member Aranga? Aye. Item 8.5 carries. That concludes our academic senate area. Uh, next item. Uh, I'm sorry, but Superintendent President, did you have, that was a 9.1 we moved, but were there other items there you would like to discuss? Uh, that will come later in the Superintendent President report down the agenda, but I don't have any other action items. Uh, okay, very good then. Um, I heard that, but we're at, uh, we did 9.1 prior, so now we're to academic affairs, but there's no item, no report, correct? Uh, number uh, students support services. This is the ASB president report. This is an informational item. I yes, thanks, uh, Board President Kellogg. Um, we normally have our uh, ASB president, Marco uh, Mendoza. Unfortunately, he is out ill today. So we have an opportunity to introduce um, David Root, who will speak on his behalf, but also I give us the opportunity to introduce our new student trustee, Mr. David Root. Come on up. Congratulations. Thank you, President Oakley. Good evening, President Oakley, Board President Kellogg, and members of the board. As you well know, my name is David Root. I am the PCC Student Council Vice President, and I'm here filling in for ASB President Marco Mendoza, who could not attend tonight due to his recent surgery. I'm happy to announce this is the last Board of Trustee meeting. The ASB has been very busy with many events, both on and off campus. The SSCCC conference was attended by the ASB President Marco Mendoza, as well as the PCC Student Council President Suzanne Perucci and the Rep of Legislation, Legislative Affairs, Lokalani Hunt. Also, we had our Spring Sing on Friday, May 9th, which was a very huge success with many of LBCC clubs participating as well as many solo acts following the theme of TV shows. Also, LBCC participated in the Pride Parade on Sunday, May 18th, showing great support for the LGBTQA and I community at LBCC. PCC Student Council held their second Chat and Chow event on May 21st, which brought both student leaders and administrators together to enjoy luau themed food and music with an ice breaking style Q&A for both the student leaders and the administrators to get to know one another. President Oakley, Vice President Peterson, as well as Connie Sears, Anita Gibbons, and Rocio Mendoza were also in attendance. Also, we had our ASB elections, which were held on April 13th, 14th, I'm sorry, May 13th, 14th, and 15th, in which the student body elected Lokalani Hunt as our new ASB president, Lauren Christine Ho as our new ASB vice president, Grant Marcel Cook as ASB treasurer, and myself, David Root, as student trustee. In closing, I would like to extend an invitation to all board members to the Student Life Award reception, which is being held this Wednesday, May 28th at the Grand Ballroom between 2 p.m. and 4 p.m. And also our ASB Awards Banquet Thursday, May 29th at the Grand Ballroom, which starts at 6 p.m. We look forward to seeing all of you there. Thank you, and I look forward to joining you next month for my first Board of Trustee meeting. Thank you. Thank you, David. Next to administrative services, 12.8. This is the under. Uh, Board President Kellogg, uh, we, we do have the uh, incoming ASB board president here, so we'd like to give her an opportunity to say a few words as well. Um, Lokalani, introduce Thank you. yourself. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Lokilani Hunt. I am the fall 2014 spring 2015 ASB president elect. Starting with the fresh cabinet and innovative perspectives, I'm honored to represent our students in the upcoming year. As president, I will support pioneering branding initiatives for ASB that cultivate not only leadership, but teamwork as well. For so long, students have inclined to become more sustainable. I am devoted to finding ways 
to logistically implement them as well as other beneficial plans. I am enthusiastic about the upcoming year and you should be too. Thank you. Thank and I'm you. gonna introduce the ASB advisors at this time. Thank you.